Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in a large population that reproduce by random mating the frequencies of the genotypes homozygous dominant, heterozygous and homozygous recessive are 4%, 32% and 64% respectively. Assume that the change in the climate induce the population to reproduce exclusively by self-fertilization, predict the frequencies of the genotypes in this population after many generations of self-fertilization. In this population we have two alleles for this particular locus. One is dominant allele G, another is recessive allele G. And of course in a diploid organism these two alleles can produce three following genotypes. One would be homozygous dominant, another one would be heterozygous and the last one would be homozygous recessive. Now let's return to our problem again. Assume that the change in the climate induce the population to reproduce exclusively by self-fertilization. What does it mean? That mean that, uh, for example, homozygous dominant would cross with homozygous dominant exclusively. Heterozygous would cross with heterozygous exclusively and homozygous recessive would cross with homozygous recessive exclusively. And now let's take a look what's going to happen. For example, if one parent is going to be homozygous dominant, another is also homozygous dominant, or it can be same parent if we are talking about plants. Plants can self-fertilize and self-pollinate. And what we are going to see here, all the progeny, of course, are going to be of the one genotype and one phenotype, which is homozygous dominant. As for the homozygous recessive, we are going to see the same picture. So homozygous on this side, homozygous recessive on this side. Again, we are going to see the same picture. All the progeny are going to be homozygous recessive, just like parents. And we can say, usually we say parent one and parent two, but here we can say parent one and parent one, because this is self-fertilization. And as for the heterozygous genotype, we are going to see a different picture. Take a look. So heterozygous on top, heterozygous here on the side. And when we build simple Punnett square, what we are going to see? Here we are going to see homozygous dominant, heterozygous, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive. Now let's take a look at our problem again. So we have following genotypes and here is frequencies of the genotypes. So frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype is 0 0.04 and frequency of the heterozygous genotype is 0 0.32 and frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is 0 0.64. What's going to happen after this one cycle of self-fertilization? You see that heterozygous, when we cr uh, cross heterozygous with itself, number of uh, heterozygous would be just 50% in the progeny and 25% is going to be homozygous dominant. So we add here and this is one quarter and another 25% is going to be homozygous recessive which we are going to add here and also we expect one quarter. Now what numbers are going to be? Take a look. If we had before frequency of this genotype 0.04, now one quarter of um, 0.32 is going to be 8, 0 0.08. So 0 0.04 plus 0 0.08 would give us a new frequency, which is going to be 0 0.12. And here, instead of 0 0.12, 32, as you see, we left only with 50% of the initial frequency. New frequency is going to be 
0 0.32 uh, divided by 2 and this is going to be 0 0.16. We divide by 2 because only 50% of 1 half uh, in the progeny of such a cross would be heterozygous genotype. Here homozygous recessive we start with 0 0.64 so 0 0.64 and we have to add one quarter of this frequency which is going to be 0 0.08 0 0.08 and new frequency that we are going to get here is going to be 0 0.72 it is the same as 12%, 16% and 72% and now imagine that we uh, repeat the cycle again cycle of uh, self-fertilization but this time this is going to be the frequency that we are going to start with and again as you remember in a cross of the heterozygotes we are going to see one quarter homozygous dominant one quarter homozygous recessive and we are going to see reduction of the heterozygotes by 50 percent again let's repeat this step we have to add here 0 0.12 plus one quarter of 0 0.16 is going to be 0 0.04 new frequency is going to equal 0 0.16 and one quarter is going to go here plus 0 0.04 would give us new frequency of 0 0.76 and here we lost 50 percent and only one half is left so minus 0 0.8 0 0.08 and we are going to get here 0 0.08 and this is going to be new frequencies again we started with frequencies which is listed here and after just one cycle we got these new frequencies and with the second cycle we got these frequencies and eventually what's going to happen we are going to lose heterozygotes completely and in this population we are going to have only homozygous uh, dominant genotype and homozygous recessive genotype and phenotype and this one would be completely lost. We call this loss of heterozygosity. Loss of heterozygosity due to self-fertilization. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.